Kazu Maniacs as of April 7th, 2024. We got Hero Quest, Grim Reaper, PSA 9. I mean, this is easily a top five card in the set for only $16.50. Steal of a deal. Here we have six boxes of Wilderness for $102.50. Uh, here we have one of those UFO lunch boxes that were originally selling for $50 American. Oof. Um, sold for $11.14. And, since this was selling in Canada, I bought one as well. For $17.50 Canadian. $12 American. Can't wait to open this up on the channel. Probably do a live stream and just have some fun. Here's one of the coolest promos in MetaZoo, I think. Uh, $7.50. Sam Sinclair and Loveland Frogman. Here we have the very hard to pull Revive Possessed Aura PSA 9 from Seance. Sold for $121.50. And I always gotta point this out, this is the only Possessed Aura that says first edition on it. All the other Possessed Auras either don't say anything or the big box has the big box symbol. All right, here is the ugliest plush you're ever gonna get, probably from anywhere. Uh, $5.25, and it's the gold heart one. And only sold for $5.25. This is the harder one to get. NFT holders only, right? Here we have the complete set of Nightfall theme decks. Uh, $5. That's crazy. Right, here we have all Wilderness uh, theme decks. Oh man, not even 5 bucks. $4.25. I really like stuff like this. So this is a Chris Catman uh, print. Number 5 out of 7. I mean, it's got Green Man and Mothman. $37 only. Uh, here we have the Seon Salem bookmark promo. This used to be worth like, I think like a couple hundred dollars. This used to be pretty expensive. Uh, now it's only $36. Here we have Loveland Mailman promo. Man, this is dropping hard. $20.51. Here we have the Green Goblin promo, Wubby promo. Uh, what is it? Pay money Wubby. $31.76. This used to be worth a lot more. And here's a perfect example. Bigfoot. <laughs> From Revive, just a promo, you can't scratch it for the skateboard or anything. Two bucks. Uh, here we have the Bear Walker Loveland Frogman promo card, only $7.50. Hey, this card's still pulling some weight. A UFO from the Disclosure 1.0 set. The biggest scam at the, at the end of MetaZoo. This used to sell for at least 200 bucks, now 73, but that's still quite a bit for a raw card in MetaZoo. And I know he's watching this video, Escaped Alien, do you have this card? I wonder. Uh, here we have a PSA 10 Caster's Cup Gumbaroo Full Hollow, only $26. And here we have the Unicorn Alternate Art from Pin Club that's doodled and autographed by Afton for only $24.50. Here we have the Unicorn from Hero Quest PSA 10, $53. Not a bad deal. People love unicorns, right? And that's definitely one of the more rare unicorns in MetaZoo. Here's a card that I think sold for extremely cheap. I think this should be worth quite a bit more. I mean, $55.88 for PSA 10 Hero Quest Piazza Bird. This might be the best Piazza Bird. Well, I'm going to say it right now. This is the best Piazza Bird artwork in all of MetaZoo. Hero Quest has some of the craziest um, versions of the cryptids. It's amazing. Here we have PSA 10 Mothman Festival, Dark Tower, Point Pleasant. Promo card, $80 as a PSA 10. Here we have Topps Chrome, Mothman, serialized at a 25, the Orange Refractor, PSA 9, the alternate art, only $129.50. I would say this was a steal of a deal. The original art Mothman, serialized at a 25, Orange Refractor, PSA 10, 28508. Here we have Topps Chrome, MetaZoo Joint Snake, Super Fractor 101, PSA 9, $305? I mean, steal of a deal. And why? Because this is one of the nicest looking Super Fractors you're ever going to see from MetaZoo. Uh, here we have a Kickstarter Phoenix Rain, Full Hollow, PSA 10, sold for $31. I'm not sure what happened here. Chessy Full Hollow Kickstarter, PSA 10, sold for $101. There are barely any MetaZoo Full Hollow Kickstarter PSA 10s that are selling for over $100, except for Loveland, Frogman, and Mothman. Not even Bigfoot, not even Power Up Red, Sam Sinclair, Piazza none of those are selling for over $100, but Chessy did. <laughs> so, if anyone knows what happened here, why there was a bidding war for Chessy, um, I'm impressed. I mean, here we have the Reverse Hollow Mothman Kickstarter, 
PSA 9 sold for 122. I mean, I'd rather have this, even though it is a PSA 9, over that chassis any day for 20 more dollars. That's crazy. And here we have Loveland Frogland Full Hollow PSA 10 Kickstarter. Only $192.49. It's going up a little bit. Uh, here we have Revive. Uh, um, here we have Revive Loveland Frogman Full Hollow PSA 10 for $89. Not bad at all. Here we have 144 blister packs of Kryptonation Second Edition, which is equivalent to four booster boxes, for $138.50. Here we have 144 Seance Blisters for $219.50. I know Sneak Outs has uh, been selling a lot of stuff and it's been selling for pretty cheap. I feel for them. But they made money here because I guarantee five spell books of Nightfall had zero value in them. So they made a profit of at least $20. Maybe it's all $21.50. Uh, here we have a PSA 10 Bigfoot Full Hollow, just a regular Wilderness First Edition, $12.50. Mishu Pishu, PSA 10, $13.50, First Edition Wilderness. Uh, five Valentine's Day promo boxes for $23.50. I mean, these are all really good deals, especially if you're going to keep them sealed for the future. Cannot go wrong. Here we have five of the Christmas promo boxes. You get 10 promo cards in each box, so 50 packs for $26. Here we have three April Fool's MetaZoo Magic Cast boxes. Wow, this is getting cheap. $17.50 for three boxes. You're gonna get five cards in each box, but that is insanely cheap compared to where it used to be. When this first came out, I believe on the MetaZoo Marketplace website, these were selling for $20 or $25. So to get three for 17, that's crazy. And if you thought that was crazy, because I know I did, here you get five for $27. That's crazy, that's like buy one, get four free. Uh, here we have 10 of the Hero Quest CD sealed, so 10 promos in there for $81. Uh, here we have the Halloween promos with the mask sealed, $14.50. So you're gonna get 20 packs with 20 different cards and the mask, so pretty cool deal. Uh, this is 100% a steal of a deal. I can't even believe this sold for so cheap. Uh, the Loveland Frogman Casher's Cup, the jersey, it's medium, and the promo for 38 bucks. Uh, here we have 10 of the 30th anniversary uh, promo boxes. You get five cards in each one, so it's 50 cards. $73, not bad. Oh, even better deal. 15 of those 30th anniversary boxes for $82. Here's a product I never understood how it had value at all. It's just an aura deck. It's just a whole bunch of aura cards because when they printed Kickstarter, there wasn't enough aura cards in the boxes, like the booster boxes, whatever. So they printed these decks with just aura cards. That's all it is. It's like it's like buying uh, 200 energy cards from Pokemon. The thing is, in the Brilliant Aura deck, there is going to be one Hollow card in there, exclusive. But still, even that card isn't really worth much at all. So $66 for two of these. Maybe it's a cool collector's item to have sealed, but I would maybe pay two dollars for one of these. Here we have 22 of the MetaZoo 2021 uh, first edition and 2020 second edition Halloween promo packs. $33? Why not? And here we are. This must have been an Archcaster because I was an Archcaster and you get 10 of each of these promo cards. These are some of the nicest promo cards with the Cryptids playing poker, but nobody wants them. They sold all 30 for $18.50. I mean, that's maybe one large pizza. These are one of some of the most underappreciated cards in MetaZoo. Here, let's take a quick look. I mean, it's badass. Right. So here's Cryptid Nation. Right? They're all just playing poker. Then we got Nightfall. I mean, the, the artwork on here is awesome. There's multiple cryptids in the same artwork. And here's Wilderness. I mean, that is awesome. These are some of the best looking promo cards with multiple cryptids on them. Here you have five of the Kickstarter. These are the promo boxes where there's 12 different promos. Uh, 10 packs in each box, so 50 of them for $23. Hell yeah. Steal of a deal. Stuff like this from Caster's Cup used to be worth a lot more. Look at this. There's even a player pack in here. What? 
And the card? Yeah, I gotta check this out. And it's player stamped. Holy moly. There's some pretty exclusive goodies in here. For $96, steal of a deal, whoever picked that up, really good. All right, here we have the water tower promos. I mean, this is crazy. I know people are jaded by MetaZoo, but I don't know if I'd sell stuff for so cheap like this. I mean, if anything ever happens with MetaZoo again, even if it doesn't, these are rare, like, super exclusive rare promos. Damn, and for only $81, whoever's picking this stuff up, steal of a deal. Okay, so this should be interesting. $162.50. What are we getting here? So we got the Archcaster promo from the poker. Serialized out of 100. Some random space penguins. Is that a promo card? Oh, it's got the stamp on it from the MetaZoo stamp. Okay. It's cool. Oh, this is a cool one. Everyone likes the Van Meter Festival promo. The Rat King, New York City promo. That's a pretty exclusive promo. $162. I guarantee a lot of that $162. The value was towards the Rat King. Oh, and we got more. Oh yeah, so nothing too crazy here. Yeah, this is the one numbered out of a thousand. I mean, this is just badass artwork. Look at this, it's got Mothman, Wendigo, Cumberland Dragon, Flatwood Monster, Bigfoot, playing poker together. Really cool card and severely undervalued, I think. Here we have four first edition Crypto Nation booster boxes for $330. That's crazy. <laughs> That's totally bananas. So that would be about $82.50 per box. I mean, we're not including shipping here, but still. Here we have a PSA 10, Dragon Oconto Falls, probably the second best card you could pull out of Wilderness. As a PSA 10, $13.63. Awful, this is my favorite card to pull out of Wilderness. As a PSA 10, only $9.50. Holy moly, snipe, PSA 10, only $7.40. And here's the best card you could pull out of Wilderness. As a PSA 10, only $33. And you could open up six boxes and maybe only pull one of these. Uh, here's an interesting one I just have never actually seen before. Caster's Cup, Friendly Snowman, PSA 9, Player Stamped, only $8.50. But let's get them in the spotlight here. I have never seen this card. Friendly Snowman, Full Hollow, Player Stamped. So now we're done with a lot of the auctions for this past week. I just wanted to point out the PSA 10 Full Hollow Mothman from First Edition, not Kickstarter. Some recent sales that have been happening. So, there's one for $65, another for $50, uh, $80, $50, $60. So, Full Hollow Mothman PSA 10 from Crypto Nation. I mean, when you see the box selling for $82, you're like, holy crap, that's cheap. But is it cheap? You could buy the PSA 10 version of the top card you could pull out of the box for cheaper than the price of a cheap box. You know what I'm saying? All of these Mothman cards, full hollow PSA 10, are selling for less than $82. So remember, if you buy a box for $82, that's a steal of a deal, but I've opened up six, and I've never pulled a full hollow Mothman. Even if you pull it, you still gotta get it graded, so that's another like 15 bucks right there. And there's over a thousand copies. So let's check out the PSA uh, pop report for Crypto Nation Mothman. So, first edition has 1,392 graded and 1,005 graded as a PSA 10. That's another reason why the price is so cheap for them, too, because there's a lot. Uh, Kickstarter, there are 242 sent in the PSA and 129 are a PSA 10. And I don't imagine that number is going to go up very much because Kickstarter just had such a low print run. And second edition Full Hollow Mothman, there's 344 sent in and 208 graded as a PSA 10. Next, we have a card that, I mean, it's just beautiful. So this sold on March 31st. The reason why I'm bringing this up, it's a PSA 9, sold for $152.50. As we all know, the super rare hollow foil pattern from MetaZoo for the poker cards. Incredible looking card. So the PSA 9 sold for $152.50, and the PSA 10 sold for $400 American. Best offer was accepted. So boom, here we have the PSA 10 version. That is crazy, 400 bucks. So there are some heavy hitter grail still that exist in MetaZoo. Here we have a lot of 10 first edition Full Hollow Mothman all graded PSA 10, sold for $500. I mean, 
Holy crap. Ten of them. All PSA 10. For only 500 bucks. Here we have a Shadow People from Topps Chrome. Black Refractor number 3 out of 5. So for $180 as a PSA 10. So I figured I'd show this off because you definitely don't see cards like this very often. But the black border. Very nice. And there's our 3 out of 5. And we had a recent uh, sample card sell for, and I mean like a really badass one too, Dragon's Breath for $150 American, just raw. So let's take a look at that. I mean, it's got a pretty sexy print line right through it. That is about as obvious of a print line as you're ever going to see. But it is a sample card and it's badass. I mean, that's Piazza Bird right now just blowing some flames. That's crazy. So $150 for that card, not a bad deal at all. It's not even graded yet. And here's a beautiful card. Hero Quest Mothman, I mean that zombie Mothman. Raw, sold for $175. So let's take a look at it. I mean, it looks in pretty good condition, well centered. I mean, what do you think of this sale? This card is just so elusive and you're never gonna pull it out of a pack. And I think it actually was short printed too. So, yeah, let's just zoom in all the way. I mean, how many people have this in their collection? This is a really cool Mothman card. Raw for $175? I'd say that was a good deal, but let me know what you think about that one. Okay, so now we're done all the sales of the week. I just wanted to point out two more cards that are in auction right now that you should keep your eyes on. By the time you see this video, this auction is going to be over and you won't see it because it's not going to sell. So it won't be in the sold listing or anything. It'll just disappear into thin air but I just wanted to get it on video while it's still up on YouTube unless the person relists it um, yeah it's the Chromie's Crypto Carnival Secret Rare Mothman they want $2,500 to start the auction there's no bids I mean no one's gonna spend $2,500 on this that's not anymore anyways but yeah that's a Secret Rare number 34 out of 131 boom let's just zoom in all the way I mean, what do you think of that card? PSA 10? Crazy. So there's that. The auction ends in about an hour and a half. By the time I'm done editing this video, this will have expired already. I don't think it's going to get a bid. And in one day and 18 hours, so a day, by the time you see this video, probably day and a half. Uh, yeah, Sample Mothman. It's not authenticated that it's autographed by Mike Waddell, so he kind of like signed it on the case so that'd be june 26 2021 mike waddell autographed the outside of it but i mean whatever nonetheless it is a sample mothman psa 10 and currently it is an auction for two thousand six hundred and thirty three dollars and seventy cents american so do you think the same guy that bought that um golden ticket's gonna pick this up as well he might I mean, there's people bidding on this, 21 bids. Remember, the golden ticket sold for $4,750. And that was a PSA 9 with the auto getting a 10. So, and it's autographed by Mike Waddell with his weird signature, but... What do you think is going to sell for more? I mean, these are, the, these are the top. These are the heaviest of the heavy hitters in all of MetaZoo. If you don't comment on anything else in this video, tell me what you'd ra rather have if I gave you $5,000 or someone's like... I'll give you $5,000, you can keep the change, but what would you rather buy? The Golden Ticket for $4,750 or the Sample Mothman PSA 10? So do you think this is going to sell for less than the Golden Ticket or do you think the Sample Mothman is going to reclaim its throne? So I'm looking forward to reading the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if I missed anything, if you bought anything, sold anything, you know the routine. Tell me what you got to tell me and we'll see you in the next video.